Hey guys, what is up? Zero Fats here, aka Camgenics, coming at you on behalf of Nutribullet Time. Today is day two of my 30 day weight loss challenge, and you know, I am down uh, 0.8 pounds. I weighed myself this morning and I was at 242 even. That's down uh, 0.8 pounds from yesterday because yesterday I was 242.8 pounds. Now, I'm, my goal is to lose 20 pounds in 30 days, uh, and that's going to require me to lose at least 0.6 pounds a day. So we'll see how it goes. Day one, doing good, on schedule, lost 0.8 pounds, it's great. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys though uh, about uh, something today. Here uh, you see that I have um, the base of my slow star. I didn't want to put all the stuff out here, but here's the slow star that I bought. This is a juicer. It's a really good juicer. It's probably one of the best juicers you can buy. Uh, it's nice. It's very expensive. It's an expensive juicer. Over here um, on my right, on your left probably, uh, is a typical Nutribullet 600. So this is uh, the, the, the original Nutribullet. Uh, not super powerful, um, but it gets the job done, right? Um, a lot of people ask the question, what should I do? Should I get a good juicer or should I get a good blender? What, what, should, I, what should I do, you know? I'm trying to figure out if I should start juicing or start doing smoothies. Um, now, I've tried both of those things, all right? I, I've tried both of them. And uh, here's what I believe, okay? And I, I've looked into this a lot, all right? But with, uh, with uh, smoothies, um, I'm sorry, with juicing, uh, it is said that you get a giant burst of micronutrients, right? You get a lot of nutrients, just a giant burst, right? Like directly injected because your body doesn't have to worry about digesting all the fibers and all the stuff that's in the fruit. And you just get straight like a ton of nutrients, right? And, and it's great. And, and with the smoothies, you get more fiber, and uh, you can't ingest as much, right? You can't ingest as much food. Yeah, that, that's really dependent on how you look at it, honestly. I mean, because with the juice, you're not getting as many calories. You're getting all the, the nutrients, but uh, wh whatever. Here's what I'll tell you. I, I think that you can do amazing blending or uh, juicing. But here's what I'll tell you. I've tried both of them. I've tried to lose weight with both of them. i failed with both of them. But here's what I'll tell you. This is fun, alright? Blending is fun. I'm not just saying Nutribullet, whether you got a Vitamix or Nutribullet or Nutri Ninja or a Blendtec, I'm not, it's not about the, the blender, it's about blending. Uh, blending is fun, you know, it's easy to clean up a blender. It's easy to clean it, you can whip up a smoothie really fast, it's fun, okay? So all you have to deal with now is just the mental game of losing the weight or being healthy or whatever. Uh, this right here is not fun. There's nothing fun about juicing, okay? The only fun part about juicing is like, um, is, is drinking the juice, right? But like when you're juicing, like there's a serious cleanup effort that has to happen when you're done, right? And this is like, I don't care what anybody says. It's a half hour process to clean up when you're done juicing. You got a lot of parts to this thing. There's like this little mesh part. I should have probably just got the whole thing out instead of just the base, but you got this big mesh thing that has to be cleaned. It, it's it's just kind of, it's not fun. That, that's, you know, it's not fun. And I'm not saying it's not gonna help you because I love this juicer, it's amazing, but you know what? Most days, I don't feel like messing with it, man. I don't feel like getting it out and freaking, that, because I'm thinking in my mind, I gotta clean that thing. I gotta clean that thing. And it's gonna be like, I'm gonna clean it and then I, I'm gonna have to mess with that mesh thing again. It comes with a brush that like helps a little bit, but you can spend five or 10 minutes messing around with that mesh in that brush, trying to get all the little pieces, especially if you're using something like orange or celery or something. Holy cow, man. So bottom line is if you're trying to lose weight and you're the kind of person who's failed at a lot of diets and you have trouble with the mental game of staying on task and losing weight, this isn't going to help your mental game, all right? The idea of having to clean this juicer is not going to help your mental game. <laughs> you're probably going to mess it up. You're probably going to fail. 
And if that's you, I would go with blending, right? It, it's a lot easier on your mind because it's a lot easier to clean, right? It's not as big of a deal. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I've done both of them, and that's just my personal opinion. I think this is easier. It can be fun to blend stuff. It's easy to clean the machine. This is more difficult. It's a lot more difficult. And I haven't just had one of these. I've also had a, 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 a I've had several different models of juicers. This is the most expensive one I've had though. This is the most expensive. This is like one of the. Uh, uh, this isn't the kind of juicer that like blend that grinds things up. This is the kind of juicer that actually like presses things. I can't remember the name of it right now, but uh, this is kind of a fancier juicer. Uh, I've had the Jack Jelaine juicer and um, like Huntington Beach juicer. I've had several different kinds of juicers, and uh, this is the best one by far. Um, especially if you're trying to get the most nutrients. You can do a lot with this, man. You can make ice cream with this. You can put frozen bananas in this. It'll grind them up, and it'll be like frozen banana ice cream. It's awesome. Uh, but this is not fun. <laughs> you have to clean this thing up every time you use it, and it's, it's a process, man. And sometimes I think the main thing about losing weight is that mental game and that, and that process of trying to clean this thing every time That'll mess with your head. And that's the kind of thing that'll make you be like, nah, I'm not doing that juice stuff today, man. I don't feel like cleaning that stupid machine. It's cool at first because it's a novelty and you want to use it, but after a while, it's, it's not fun anymore. It's a pain in the butt. Like on that movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, he had a juicer and like he took it all over the country with him for like a month or so. And in my mind, I'm looking back, I'm like, how did that cat clean that thing every day? I mean, he was out of his... He was out of his truck. I mean, how did he clean it every day? I mean, I don't get it. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, who knows? I'm sure he found his way to clean it and stuff. But I think cleaning juicers is a pain in the butt, man. It really is. And when people say, oh, this, this juicer is easy to clean, I don't believe it, man. I've had at least three or four different kinds of juicers. None of them were easy to clean. So, I don't believe it. Juicers are not easy to clean. That's all there is to it. So, anyways, whatever, man. That's all I got. That's my day two update, and I uh, hope you guys are all doing well out there, and I'll see you tomorrow on day three. Wish me luck. Peace, everybody.